shooting is right now, and you are doing nothing. There was also this moment today as the Democrat Beto O'Rourke interrupted the Texas governor's news conference on the shooting, shouting that Texas leaders aren't doing enough to make guns less accessible. He was eventually let out by police. Mr. O'Rourke is challenging Greg Abbott in Texas's gubernatorial race and has been highly critical of his stance on gun rights. That exchange symbolic of the division in this country over how to pass laws or change them to prevent tragedies like this one. When President Biden addressed the nation last night, he mentioned previous legislation. Take a listen. We can and will prevent every tragedy, but we know they work and have positive impact. When we passed the assault weapons ban, mass shootings went down. When the law expired, mass shootings tripled. But is this claim accurate? 11 Alive investigator Kristen Crowley joining us now tonight to verify. Kristen? Now, many of you asked, did mass shootings increase after the 10-year ban on assault-style weapons expired? Well, let's verify. To get our answer, we went to the Public Safety and Recreational Firearms Use Protection Act and Stanford University's Mass Shootings in America's database. And here's what we found. Nearly 28 years ago, President Bill Clinton signed an act banning 19 assault style weapons from 1994 to 2004. But before we get into the numbers, we first need to understand what is considered a mass shooting. Stanford University defines it as a shooting with three or more victims, but not necessarily fatalities. Now let's look at the data. We analyzed Stanford's mass shooting data from 1994 to 2004. During that time, there were about 32 mass shootings. We looked at the 10 years after the ban expired, and that totaled 68 mass shootings. That is more than double the number of mass shootings during the ban. So we can verify mass shootings did increase after the ban on assault-style weapons expired. That claim is true.